Good morning. Good morning to all of you. Oh, this is awesome. Uh, fourth consecutive year doing this. What a blessing to be here. Thank you for your presence. Thank you very much for joining us. Uh, great subject, great topics throughout the day. Thank you. And uh, I'm going to try to spend a few minutes here with you covering a little bit about our company and, and us, Philips, as a whole in India as well. And then I'll try to transit, move a little bit towards uh, the digital transformation. How does that play towards our entire organization as well? So to start, uh, I normally have this particular slide uh, as a background because it helps us illustrate what Philips is about, okay? And uh, I've been in the country here for almost a year now, and from day one as I traveled through the country, I was extremely happy to see how strong the Philips brand is. And uh, in fact, it was a great compliment to hear customers say or think that Philips was an Indian company. So that's, that's a great comment as well. And a lot of times those go back many, many years. We, were, we started in the country in 1930, even before you know, the independence. And we were a company in the electroelectronics business, right? So we had a chance to meet a lot of people that go back with their grandparents and they had the first radio, and it was a Philips radio. So there's a lot of roots in India, and we're very proud of that. But over time, just like many other successful organizations, we are reinventing ourselves constantly. Perhaps most of you here know that Philips is a company in the health technology space. But I still, I, I reiterate that because there's still conversations about lighting or questions about uh, products like TV, etc., which we are no longer playing that space. We became a health technology company. So I start by saying that because I, I wanted to ground that, you know, our success depends 100% on your success. You know, we wake up in the morning, go back to sleep, thinking about how to improve and solve the biggest challenges in healthcare. Now, Making that transition to become a health technology company, we made some very important choices. Moving away from incredible business, we were at number one positions, but we expanded the way we look at healthcare. And most of you know Philips in the healthcare space from the diagnostics, you know, the monitoring business, which is a very important business that we continue investing in it and innovating in that space. We invest close to just under 10% of our revenue in R&D, and we have the first and only digital MRI in the marketplace. We have an amazing PET CT that is truly digital, the first detector-based you know, spectral imaging CAT scanners, and the story goes on and on, and every year we launch tons of products in that space. So you know Philips in the space that says diagnostic most of the time, and treatment as well, which is interventional, cath, angioplasties, and things of that nature that we have moved more and more towards that. But what we don't talk too much about is what happens before and after that hospitalization. And to Prasad's point, we believe that the way to help healthcare is by looking at a more holistic way and move away from sick care and truly you know, take care of this journey that we all go through in our lives. So it starts by living a healthy life, prevention, diagnostic treatment and home health. And this is the playing field that you see over here that our organization is always looking for ways to connect the dots and solve the problems and partner with the professionals to improve, to lower the cost of healthcare, to increase access, improve the delivery. And everything is done with a very strong connectivity, connectivity. The, Connectivity and informatics is huge in the organization. It has been intensified, and hence, you know, these discussions that we are having here. So i just give you that background. I think it's the only company in the industry that truly can deliver from end to end, and we are right there at the last point, partnering with physicians to deliver healthcare. Um, talking about India is specific, you know, the Future Health Index points out a couple of things that may or may not be surprises to you, but the three biggest challenges that they mention is that, number one, we don't have enough physicians to support the needs of the healthcare that we have in our country. And the comparison is 29 
physicians, doctors for 1,000 people, whereas the global average is more than 100. So that is a bottleneck that has to be solved. Secondly, it comes down to where are those physicians located? Because even the 29 that you see for the 10,000 you know, population, they're not necessarily spread evenly in tier threes and fours, et cetera, you know, of the country. The majority are tier one. So that also puts another challenge on top of the fact that we already have a shortage of physicians, as you probably you know, have seen it. And then there's the infrastructure side. You know, there's not enough technology, but not enough hospitals or hospital beds. And if you just look at, we're talking about in India, seven beds for 10,000 people, as opposed to a global average that is almost 40 beds for 10,000 people. So we are behind the ball there as well. So those are big challenges that over time we have to be working and addressing. And as an organization, we take that in account when we're looking into innovation, when we're looking at our strategies and our long-term plans, how can we help have an impact, a meaningful impact to solve those problems for us? Now, digital technology plays a huge role. You know, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time talking about uh, partnerships, which is critical, you know, with uh, the participation of organizations like Philips partnering with in the, the private sector, PPPs, which we actually have more than 70 PPPs in the country in the healthcare space. We're probably the, the number one, the largest that you're gonna see out there. We believe very hardly on PPP and we will come, everybody that is interested to go in this journey in partnership, Philips is here for you, would love to hear your ideas and partner with you to solve that problem in PPPs, okay? So, but I'm not gonna elaborate a lot on that. And then there's also the localization part. In order to solve the challenges that we have here in India, we have to have ideas and products designed for these challenges. And it's not, you know, it doesn't cut to have a product come from the US or to have a product come from the Netherlands, et cetera. We truly need to understand what our needs are and how we solve the problems for our region. And that's what we do as well. And I'll show you towards the end our footprint in the country. And you will see that from an R&D standpoint and localization, local manufacturing, we have stepped up quite a bit and we believe hardly on that as well. But the other piece is the ability to increase access. And one way for us to help the lack of enough physicians or the lack of the, the even distribution of where they're located is to leverage digital technologies. So we have the hardware, but we also have an amazing team here in PIC with Prasad's team and globally that is constantly thinking about how can we do that in a very cost-effective manner as well. And there are a few examples, and Sean is gonna to touch in more depth about several of those, how technology and digital technology specifically, how artificial intelligence can be an amazing asset in the hands of physicians so they can truly be guided and you know, shorten their time, reduce error, point them into the right directions. You know, we're not talking about replacement. People ask this question quite a bit. Do you think that's going to replace, et cetera? I personally don't believe it's a replacement. I think it's a combination. It's working it together, and that's how we do it. Especially if you look at the innovation work being done in Philips, it's, it's only as good as the partnerships that we have with our physicians and institutions globally. So you take, for instance, EICU, which is, you know, uh, figuring out a way to take the best intensive care unit that you find in a tier one seat in a top-notch hospital to a remote location. How can you get the same physicians in care that you get in the big city also in a rural facility? That's what the digital technology and the concept of EICU does. That's something that we've been doing for a while. I think the transformation that we talked about in healthcare, supported by digital technologies, it's something that a company that is dedicated to healthcare, like ours, has been looking for and developing products on and on. So some of these products that you see over here are not products that we would like to have. Those are products that we currently have, you know, and they were developed by, you know, partnerships that we have with you. And then lastly, there's a, a lot of work being done in population health. 
And you're going to hear more about that as well. I think it's extremely powerful. If we just look at uh, the healthcare system here that we have in India, it's quite unique. Look, I come from, uh, from Latin America. I spent some time in the U.S. And, and it's totally different, you know, to think that a model that works over there will work here. It's just not the case. I mean, just to start, but, you know, you heard Prasad mention that 70% of our healthcare system is out of pocket. When I came to the country, I was like, this is insane. How can that be, right? Because most countries, the government has a bigger participation or insurance plans. You buy insurance plan if you can afford. But here it doesn't work that way. So we have to figure out solutions to solve those particular problems, which is different to what's happening in other parts of the world. And that's exactly, you know, population health plays a huge role in support as well. And as you look at Philips, from living a healthy life, prevention, if you think about mother and child care, we're a company that have the, the brand Avent. So we have bottles, we have sterilizers, we have pumps. We really care for, you know, the human being from the very early ages, from fertility and pregnancy. So that is the connecting of care and this journey that we look at it, how do we take a holistic approach to healthcare to bring it, you know, cost down, increase, you know, the results, the outcomes, which is very important. It's not just about cost, it's about outcomes. The equation is outcomes divided by cost. That's what delivers the results. So we would rather be focusing on how to increase out costs and automatically we get some, you know, benefits for, the, for lower cost as well. Um, I will show you in this slide the footprint that we have here in, in our region, okay? Just gives you a flavor of what Philips is about. As I mentioned to you, we came here in 1930, and uh, the company has been reinventing itself constantly. And today, if you look at this chart, we have a few uh, manufacturing facilities in the country. We have a manufacturing facility for healthcare in Pune making products for India and making products for outside India as well. So it, part of our strategy in the region is that we have a pillar called Make in India. We really believe in Make in India. We think that helps us in the country, it helps generate jobs, it helps bring technology, advance, you know, and, I, and, and we do that, we have a contribution. And every year we hire hundreds of high-tech engineers to continue helping us with this journey and we're adding more and more products to our portfolio to make in India. We also have R&D in this particular location. So we have a factory in Chakan and we have R&D center in Pune. We have here in Bangalore the, the Philips Innovation Campus, which is outstanding. If you haven't had a chance to be there, we welcome you. We would love to hear your ideas. We would love to hear your thoughts. How can we disrupt this and improve care? And this is the place to be. You know, sometimes people think about Google or Apple and they think that's very cool. Wait until you go spend some time with Prasad and you're going to be floored. That is really innovation. And it's innovation that everything that people do, there is a life that is at the end of that action that you take. And there can't be anything more rewarding than that. We also, in our personal health space, we have in Chennai a factory, we have innovation as well, foam products that go to as early as uh, eating healthy, with uh, Pretty, which is one of our brands, that we are constantly looking for ways to how can we bring society to, to eat healthier, to be, you know, we have air fryers, we have air purifiers, we have a lot of products that play in this space of prevention and health, living a healthy life. And then we have also a global center, a global business center, where we provide services for many parts of the world as well. And obviously distribution across the country, we do a lot of in, you know, amazing financing, uh, different types of business models, etc. So, um, I'm just thrilled to have this opportunity to be here with you, to see the faces and the, uh, the ideas that you have. I hope this gives you a quick overview of what the company is about, but more importantly, you know, our success is 100% dependent on your success. We do not have you know, aircraft engines or, or locomotives, you have none of that products. You know, we are healthcare. We are 100% about healthcare, okay? And that's why we're here, because we're going to continue working with you and innovating together. So thank you very much for your time. Welcome. We're very excited that you're here.